screen. Good morning. <laughs> it's Monday, July 26, 2021. My name is Terry Morgan. We are here to practice Wudang Tai Chi. And as you can see, I have not yet gotten the car working. I have it's it's on my top of it moved to the top of the list for this week okay <laughs> it, it, it doesn't matter what kind of space other than what you can do in it all right and I want to I'm going to say this clearly because I, I'm talking about the spaces and, and so forth I remember learning Dragon Sword in an apartment, small apartment, in China, in the winter, in a room smaller than this. Right. It, it, <laughs> yes, it was tough. All right, you, it, it, a lot of backing up, a lot of paying attention to not hitting the wall, literally. What you do in the space that you have makes a difference. So as we're here, the things that I will do may be a little bit different, and in some cases will be different, than what I would do if I'm out in my garage studio, because i got more space out there. I, it, equally different than what I would do outside. Because if I'm outside, I can arrange so that I have unlimited space for what I need. Paying attention to the space that you're in also matters for anything that you ever intend to do with any kind of application. If I, I did this before and I'm going to do it again. All right. If I'm standing here, this is this is my talk through, okay? If I'm standing here, I can reach out and touch my opponent. I can't. This is not my opponent, it's a nice chair, but all right, this is my opponent. I can reach out and touch my opponent. And I'm still having trouble with the tooth. Um it's it's yeah, it's bad. Alright, so <clears throat> from here. I can reach out and touch. From here, I can't. I have to close that space before I can do anything. As I'm closing that space, my opponent has opportunities to do something else. Alright? So, knowing the space that you're in, knowing the space that you have, right? This is the space that I'm in. I might be in another room. I might be outside. I might be in a smaller room. I might, I might be in a different place entirely. Knowing the space that you're in, knowing the distance that you have. That's my distance right there. That's it. I can reach a little bit further, but it's not going to help me. That's pretty much it. Something over here, I need to move. Knowing that matters not only for moving within the space and controlling your own movements within that space. It's the tooth and the S's. Well, and <laughs> I, hmm. All right. it also means you know your space, you know the space that you're in, you can control the space that you're in. What do I need to do to close distance between me where I am right now and that chair? Right. Knowing what I might be able to do matters if I have to do something. As Lu Chi Lan said, the forms are not separate from their application. So as we're practicing, 
We also need to pay attention to the idea that we have self-defense intent. <laughs> There's uh, um, <clears throat> applications, not quite the right word. The idea of being able to use Tai Chi to defend yourself is integral to Tai Chi practice. It's not separate. Okay? So, as we're practicing, when I talk about bringing, and, and we're in Wudan, this is more advanced, I, I, as I talk about bringing together the mind, the intent, the spirit, the Chi, the inner breath, the physical breath and the physical movement, as well as the dynamic behind the physical movement, as well as the spirit behind, not the energy, the spirit behind the movement. Bringing all of that together requires that we have some understanding of what it is we're doing. Right? <coughs> So it's not a separate thing. It's the, that self-defense part. It, it's not a separate thing. It's part of what we do. Feet about shoulder width apart. Stand straight. Bend the knees. Yeah. Stretches. Bend the knees again. Hands down at your sides. Open the arms. Pull up through the crown of the head. Drop the shoulders. Pull up through the back. Hands circle to the front. Back around to both sides. Up along the center line. Yeah, anything with an S or a C. Yeah. Hmm. Stretch out over the knees. Roll up through the back. Pull up through the center. Pull in across the hips. In the front, not in the back. Open the lower back. One more time. All the way up. Drop the elbows. Hands return to your sides. All right, relax for a second. We have gone get a sip of coffee here. I had a busy weekend writing and doing some planning, including for these classes. Alright. So today we have the next several movements in Wudan Tai Chi. Last week I covered quite a bit of the movements just before and up through Xiao Qinna, a small, uh, small grab. Xiao Qinna, um, hmm. grab. It doesn't translate well. It never did. <laughs> it's chin up. Uh, it's grappling. It's it's you grab something and you hold it. Okay, and this is a shout chin as the movement name. As we complete that, we start another sequence that will carry us further down, <laughs> further along. I I'd said Wudong Tai Chi tried the first part of the movement. First part of excuse me, first part of the form is more or less stationary. Once we start moving, we kind of keep moving. <laughs> so this next segment is going to move us along. Watch quickly. I have a little more coffee. It's one of those days. All right.
watch one time, cover everything what we have up to now. I gotta adjust that, hang on. There we go. Better for me to have less head space and more floor space for this, okay? So the first part of the form, just watch. Pay attention to this idea of where we're traveling, okay? I'm going to do this face, don't, don't worry about following me, you can try if you like, but I'm going to go kind of fast. I'm going to do it in the direction that we will be facing so that you'll be able to pay closer attention to and not have to reverse things in your head. Where things change, where do I start moving? Where do I continue? Where do I have to stop and back up? And where do we go next? It's going to go fast. We're going to, I'm going to do this again. Everybody's going to do it with me. But it, Feet together, stand straight, salute. I told you it was going to go fast. And turn, down. I'm still not really going anywhere. <laughs> I'm moving. I'm doing quite a bit. Right? But I haven't gone anywhere. Outside. Until now. Of where I started. That's where we stopped. Okay? Watch. We have a few more things to do after this. This is what we're going to work on today and tomorrow. I, I told you I was going to move things along, right? I did, and, and today was going fast. Okay, so let's practice. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to practice the first part up through Sha Chin Ah. Feet together, stand straight. Pull up through the crown of the head. Tip of the tongue touches the roof of the mouth, fingers down to the sides. Toes grip just a little bit. Pull up through the arch of the foot, drop the heel. Open the toes. Breathe in, salute. And breathe in again. And breathe out, sink. Open left, turn. Pull in, extend. Turn, down, up, come across, and down. Up through the center, palm supporting heaven, alligator playing in the water, and down, and again, 
Shift, one, two, three. And center, one, two. Twin dragons come out of the cave. One, two, ward off, shift back, ward off, pull down, press, push. Double cloud hands, single cloud hands, pull the ball, heel, toe, ward off, pull down, shift back, ward off. Pull down, press, push, turn, hold, and turn one, two, three, four. Single cloud hands, one, two, three. Single whip, reach out, open, center. Palms out, up, circle, in. One, two, three. Stay there. Right hand comes up, left hand comes out, left foot goes out. White crane spreads its wings. Relax. As we move into this next segment, pay attention to remaining centered through the body. Okay? We're traveling, doing a little bit of something on one leg. All right? So pay attention as we move. Stay centered. Slow it down again from single whip one two three open close pull back Push forward. As we push forward, do not put all of your weight on your front foot. About 20% on the toes. Single whip. Open. Center. Sink. Up. And one. Two, three, open, step up, pull back, palm in the face, up, brush knee. Pay attention to where your weight is, right? <laughs> All right. Do it again. Single whip. Strong show. Sha chin up. And strong white crane spreads its wings. Brush knee up on the other side. Brush knee. Step up. Dragon and tiger tongue together. Hands strung the loop. Yeah, I, I added some more to that, didn't I? Oh well. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> Good morning. <coughs> Excuse me. I spent some time working on this uh, science fiction story that I've been writing. 
I, I spent some time working on it over the weekend and uh, quite a bit yesterday and it was going along really 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 well so I kind of kept going <laughs> and I'm excited about, <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I'm excited about that and I think that's carried over into class this morning I'm excited about being here and that we're going to get the first part of the form completed here fairly soon. I'll be ready to start on the second part. There's two. There's two. All right. So I, I am, it was going along well. I figured I'd keep going, right? <laughs> Take a breath. That's, I was just thinking. All right. I, I, <clears throat> you can't know what I'm thinking unless I told, unless I tell you. All right. So I was thinking that this is advanced practice, and in advanced practice, there are times that we step aside. To, I'm, you know, what are we going to do later? All right. Have a sip of coffee for me. Um, we stop for a minute and give ourselves a chance to rest, to collect ourselves, to do something a little bit different with our mind so that when we come back to practice, there's clarity and <clears throat> any of the other stuff has been dealt with. As I stood here, I thought, this is advanced practice. And I also thought about the idea that being able to pick up where you were, continue on, and put your energy toward that is also part of advanced practice. It's the beginning practice, so you small form, short form, not too many movements. Everybody gets to movements. Everybody's fine. We can practice together. This is good. Not nothing bad about that. This is a good thing. This is more advanced. This 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 is more advanced. And it's that's the way that I'm teaching this form. So I'll, I'll teach other form later. <laughs> From just before single whip. On the right, left is up, right hand out, right hand extend, step, open, two, ready to step up, three, one, two, three, step in, step up, step back, lean forward, both hands down, both hands up, down and brush knee. I mean, <clears throat> all right, relax for a second. I'm going to do from this direction. We're here. All right, make sure I got room back up. All right, I'm here. One, two, three. Step, come around. Pull back, lean forward, a little bit, again, this doesn't fully go down. So make sure that when you lean, you're not really leaning this way, right? This goes forward, back up. Um, <clears throat> literally twist step brush knee um, and brush knee twist step sorry elbow twist step as I come up use this right. two here one here 
Not some, not would not be my choice, but it's in the form. We have bird movements in this form. There's, there's lots of bird movements, right? Bird, it's a big bird. <laughs> as, as I start down, this leg sinks. My supporting leg bends. I want to come under. Turn my, got the hip turn. Turn the hip, turn the waist. Under and around here. This hand is going to come through and drop the heel, right? Pay attention to the twist. Pay attention to staying centered. All right? From here. Up and down. Make sure, don't forget the back leg, right? Straighten the back leg as you move through. Keep. Energy through the center, center of the body, as well as in the lower time to end. And as we go up, make sure you take that with you. And bring it down as you go down. All right? Single whip. Uh, <clears throat> set. Extend right. Open. Center, up, around, out, circle, in, and one, two, three, open, step up, pull back, lean forward, down, and up, Step out, brush knee. Okay. Again, as we step out, turn the waist. There are there are no systems of Tai Chi. I'm going to say it with a negative. I have yet to see a system of Tai Chi that does not have a version of brush knee. Okay. A little bit different. Everybody does things a little bit different. That's fine. The idea behind brush knee, this set, step, turn, and move through. This idea basic application. Move this out of the way and come in. Alright, that idea is the same for all of the systems. Okay? Again, the way it's executed, a little bit different. What you do with it, the energy you bring to it, slightly different depending on in, and since I'm talking about it, in Wudong Tai Chi we have, and I'm going to do, brush knee, and let me go one more time, brush knee. Yeah, didn't go that way. Alright. In Yang style Tai Chi, classical Yang style Tai Chi, brush knee. Big 
round sweeping movement, nice turn through the waist, very simple, very elegant, classical Yang style Tai Chi. I also learned from Hong Wei Lan another version of traditional Yang style Tai Chi, brush knee. Let me do that one, one more time. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> the one before that was more, I had a little bit more waist to it than what, <clears throat> what he had. He had, the, uh, he being Huang Wenlan, had an ability to turn through the body. This would come out and extend. And um, as with a lot of folks that were practicing back then, um, it does go all, kind of could go all the way down, more or less. In application, we don't necessarily want to pay attention to a form in, that is going to exert that much effort to go all the way down unless you're capable of doing it it's you're not going to ever do it in application anyway and generally for applications we're not paying attention to the extremes of movement we're paying attention to the common movement right i, I don't want to try and and do some fancy flying thing which i can't do anyway um, <clears throat> to cover distance between my opponent and I, if I, all I got to do is this. I, I, I'm gonna save my, I'm gonna save my energy. All right, so there are different, different things in philosophical basis that we wanna pay attention to. We wanna conserve the energy, what we're doing. All right, with the set that we're working on this morning, Right. Yeah. One, two, three. Open, step up, back, in, up, and brush knee. Paying attention to this turning and how the body moves through those movements matters. So I'm gonna I'm gonna Take a step away from I'm gonna let me come, come over here. <laughs> here we go. Follow me. I'm gonna try and do what I can before I hit the wall. <laughs> and pay attention to this idea. It's not my shoulders that are turning, it's my waist. Okay? It's not the hips that are turning, it's the waist. Okay? Waist moves, everything else goes with. All right, and we want to step up, Jachana. One, two, three. Step, step up, pull back, lean forward, up, brush knee. Worked out okay. Do it again. Sha chin up. One, two, three. Step, step up, and back on the face. Shift up, down and under. All right, relax. Notice, I'm going to, we're going to stop in just a minute. We're going to do just the segment from single whip through here. All right, <clears throat> but pay attention to the work that your back leg is doing.
through these sets. The back leg needs to be doing quite a bit of the movement forward. So the muscles along the back of the leg align through the heel. Pay attention to where your foot is in the back. So if this is my back foot. If I turn too much here, I can't connect these muscles with my heel. I'm only ever going to be able to connect the muscles on the side of my leg with the side of my foot. And go that direction. That's what I got here. That's all I got. If I turn my toes to where they should be for Tai Chi on 45, as I push into the heel, I can now engage the entire back section of my lower back, my shoulder, through the back part of the leg and down into the heel. So when I push down, I'm not pushing to the side of my foot, pushing through the heel to extend the leg. That's what you want. If it's too narrow, you end up with less strength. I mean, it's, it, it sounds counterintuitive, but you end up with less strength because you are only engaging the back of the leg. At the 45, you're engaging the inside of the leg to do its work and the back of the leg to do its work. Right? Position matters. It, 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 your foot position matters. Okay, from just before single whip. Open. Sink. Up. Around. Up. Open. Out. One. Two. Three. Open. Step up. Hold the ball. Step back. Palm in the face, pay attention to your weight, up, down, and brush knee. Alright. <clears throat> As we move, we want to, I'm going to, one more time, we want to carry with all of the physical energy. Yeah, and, and internal energy tomorrow. Physical energy that we have through these movements. What do we have? Whack. All right? I'm going to step here. This pulls back and then forward. I already talked about this one. Up and I beat on brush knee quite a bit. All right, this idea that we have dynamic, we're gonna do this, tell you what, we're gonna do this one more time all together, and then I'm gonna do it at speed, and y'all can watch, okay? We, we, we work on it, this, the speed part later, okay? From single whip, open, And step through. One, two, three. Open. Step up. Pull back. Lean forward. Up. And down. All right. Watch. Dynamic changes a little bit. We add a little bit of spice to the move. 
as we use the dynamic, as we use what we're doing, all of my weight to pull back here. Ouch! <laughs> yeah, right? But that dynamic is one of the... It's more important to me and should be more important to anybody who's learning to pay attention to the dynamic of what the movement is and what the possibilities are than to focus on this one thing and that one thing consistently. Because it, when you focus on that one thing all the time, that's all you ever learn and there's more to it than that. That's my soapbox lecture for today. All right, now, one, one, two, three, set, Notice the turn here. Turn again. Pull back. The same idea as I pull back, sink. Everything comes into that back leg. base and up. This pull back. One, two, three, and out. Right? That exists in this form. If we're practicing slowly, right, just starting to learn what to do with these movements? How do I, what, 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 you, what should you do with your hands? What, what, what was that? <laughs> she was do, doing some hand thing over there. What was that? I slowed it down a couple of days ago, all right? <clears throat> so, the dynamic that goes with the movement, that's part of each individual movement, is also connected to whatever comes before and what can't, comes next. When we start to put that all together, it's like learning your alphabet. You learn your alphabet and you start being able to put letters together and, and make whole words and you can make whole sentences. We got that. That's, that's a big part of what we do here. I, I appreciate that you were here today. I appreciate that you're going to watch this video. <laughs> I have um, more of this tomorrow. Uh, we're going to focus on the internal work, less, uh, less on the physical, more on the internal. Wednesday is the last day of Xing Yi and Wudong's three basic methods for the near term. I will start Wudang Sword, Basic Sword, on August 4th. So, Basic Sword Methods with a Straight Sword. This is not a broad sword, this is not a katakana. It's straight sword, double-edged sword. I, uh, welcome, to, welcome to get one <laughs> and come practice with me. <clears throat> That's the point. All right, so that starts on August 4th. Thursday and Friday this week and for the near future will be uh, Qigong, beginning Qigong on Thursday and advanced Qigong on Friday. I hope that you will join me for any or all of these. I appreciate that you're showing up at all. Thank you very much. Happy Monday. Bye.